Okay, here I am going to do a very quick uh, video about a new uh, instrument which I've just made. Here we go, here's the case. Neat little case which is a sort of uh, snakeskin uh, vinyl. And uh, here's what's inside. It's a ukulele. This was a bit of a challenge to build because my uh, customer sort of said they wanted something, uh, they wanted a uke and they said Jack Daniels and I thought of making it out of a Jack Daniels tin uh, but couldn't actually get one. So what we've got here is I've got a Perspex fronted cigar box which I've been looking for uh, a use for and inside you can get the reflection wall. Here's a quarter bottle of Jack Daniels with the uh, break glass in case of the emergency uh, legend on it. Uh, and it is a quarter bottle of Jack Daniels, it's the real thing. Um, so we've got this nice sort of um, satin finished mahogany uh, box. Um, mahogany neck. And um, nice piece of hardwood for the, neck, uh, for the fretboard. I don't know what it is, I just bought a, a big plank of this from my... Uh, local wood yard and it's come up nice and dark nice and dark it's not rosewood uh, but it's not far off in terms of the looks got some sort of small uh, nickel silver fret wire just ordinary friction uh, ute pegs uh, put a put a sound port on the side because it's been a bit of a challenge this because this box hinges so that was a bit of a challenge to figure out how to attach the neck so I've sort of spun it round so that it actually hinges that way so the hinges are here and it's just and the clasp was where the neck is, so I took that off, and it's just held by a couple of screws. And I've done a bolting neck. It's got um, if you see the little button there, I drilled through, and then there's a couple of barrel bolts in here, and you can just see the neck fixings in there. So there's an end block there and an end block there, keeps it nice and rigid. Um, with this perspex top, I did wonder about putting a sound hole in the top, and I was worried about splitting this perspex. Uh, and spoiling the appearance. So I just put a sound port in and I say this passive uh, pickup. It's quiet acoustically, which I sort of expected it to be. Um, but when you plug it in, it's not terrific, but because it's a passive, it's a passive piezo. down it's the, these things are very trebly that's a bit better Hopefully, I hope my client will be uh, pleased with this because this is going off first thing in tomorrow morning. It's a birthday present. Um, oh yeah, the other thing with the bridge, what I did, uh, I've, it's got a floating bridge and I've actually uh, put the piezo element in this. So uh, this is actually, I laminated this bridge up out of three pieces with a narrow centre section. So I formed a little pocket in there to drop the uh, piezo in so I didn't have to bother routing it out. So the piezo element is there, and this cable goes through to the little uh, uh, to tone of volume here, uh, with a with a bone saddle and a bone nut, and um, there you go, quarter bottle of Jack Daniel's uh, <laughs> ukulele. Bye for now, folks.